having friends over, flipping burgers, it's just pure summer. I love steak. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> when the news broke about the California drought, I didn't worry at first. I didn't think our lifestyle needed to change. And I'd like to think that we're generally eco-conscious people. As native Californians, that gets ingrained into you. We try to do our part. It really hit home when we learned about California beef production. When we looked at the numbers, it was overwhelming. It takes 1,800 gallons of water to create one pound of beef. 1,800. Yeah. And we kind of thought, okay, what are we going to do? Give up beef? <laughs> you thought about it. I thought about it. It wasn't going to happen. And then a friend told us about this crazy concept. It was a little out there and yet so simple. Skip showers for beef. You can actually equalize your eco footprint by skipping 37 showers for a four ounce hamburger. It sounds like a lot, but that's only nine showers an ounce. And when it rains, those are cheat days. The movement started really grassroots and then more people like us started to hear about it. Or smell it. <laughs> With Jason's experience in marketing and my job in the tech world, we realized we could be doing more to help push out the message. Is it easy? No. But nothing of value comes easily. We've learned some uh, tips and tricks along the way. Now, with the support and funding of Beef America, it's becoming a real thing. Every day we get more pledges. Honestly, I never would have imagined it would become this big. But it goes to show how hungry our generation is for change. I want to eat meat. I want to take care of our planet. I guess you could say I want to have it all. And now I can. We all can. Skip showers for beef. We did. And so can you.